Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. We are back here. We're trying to figure out what we need to do. Uh, we've managed to give the chalice or goblet that we found in Spain to this guy, but... The priest was still busy with the chalice, so I decided to have another look around the church. But, but that's happening. So, um, I figure we've got to do something out here with with these new people why else would they be here right in terms of like adventure game logic if people suddenly appear in the game it's probably for a reason so we tried doing a bit of juggling it didn't go well we what is it this time um he won't let us do any more juggling so catch you later that's fine um i had no desire to talk to the crowd there's the crowd there's this guy who we spoke to who apparently just won't do Hello his again. job. Hello again, monsieur. Hello again. Um, I, yeah, I mean, can we... Okay, we can't show him that. We can't show him that. Let's just try and show him everything. Take a look at this. Ah, an electrician. Okay, that was fascinating. Um, Does this red nose mean anything to you? Ah, you are a clown. Nope. Do I look like a clown? No. Although you juggle like one. Uh -huh. now, if I'd known you were a clown, it would have been amusing. And not a humiliation for you. What do you mean? Who ever heard of a plain clothes clown? He had a point. He does so have a point. So you're saying that if I juggle badly with a red nose, I'd be the king of comedy. But if I juggle badly without it... You look like a pathetic loser. <laughs> we must you. You had it. Well, okay, thank you for your wonderful feedback. What do you make of this grease paint stained tissue? Delightful. Would you like to see some of my used tissue? No, you're good. Hell no. Then please put yours away. Alright, jeez. Um We we asked him this, didn't we? Okay, you won't even do it. Do you want some do you know of this? What this is? Aha! You Americans with your notorious nose. Wow. That's not what that is, buddy. I read Hollywood Wives. I know all about it. Yeah, that's... If you tried to sniff this stuff, you'd wall up your nose. <laughs> it's plaster of Paris. It is. Thank heaven. I... For one awful moment, I thought I might actually have to arrest somebody. Yeah, I was going to say... Hello, the paperwork. You have no idea. This guy's quite possibly the laziest police officer I've ever seen. Do you know what this is? It's a sewer key. Yes, it is. Well done. Good detective work. Do you want some matches? Does this matchbook mean anything to you? The pattern looks Middle Eastern. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, we're I'll not going to shake his hand. Oui, I'll be there. Uh, we can't go into there. We tried speaking to these guys. Right. There's... Can we look at this thing again? Is there's, there's obviously something we're not... No, that's the clown. There's obviously something we're not quite seeing. He's still doing this, unbelievably. This, this is the longest cleaning of a goblet or chalice I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we know we can look through here and see specifically this window here. I didn't recognise the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. Okay, and there's nothing else there. Um, right. Huh. I don't know. Is it? We've we've tried. Did we try opening that with him over it? I'm sure Hi we did. Again. Maybe we got to we, show him the nose. What is it this time? I'd like to have another try at juggling, please. Oh, we you do. Have gone no. I just had an insight into presentation. Huh? Allow me to demonstrate. The balls, please. If you insist on completing your humiliation, monsieur. Okay, now for my secret weapon. Right, we're going to put the nose on. Yeah, they love it. Look. The was speechless with rage. They love it. You could have mistaken him for a mime. And oh no. A word. He collected his balls. Hopefully he's not a mime. He doesn't look like a fury. He doesn't look like Khan, right? Oh, he left. Hey, 
You forgot one of your balls. Hey! But he didn't hear. Better still, deprived of his entertainment, the gendarme decided maybe he ought to do some policing for a change. Ah, so does that mean we can now access this? We've also got a juggling ball now. Okay, let's go inside. Let's see if old Wassy's face is finished. He has not. Right, well, let's then try. These guys are still no in the way. To talk to the crowd. Perhaps we can now open this up now that the, the police officer's gone, though. Because he was stopping us opening that before, wasn't he? We can. Okay, what are we going to find down here? Don't mind us. We're just we're just checking the sewers. Oh my god, what is this? What is this place? Fallen idiot juggler, or jongleur as he wanted to be called. And now here I go again into another sewer. It wouldn't be an adventure game without more sewers, would it? Um, if I wanted to get deeper into these catacombs, I was going to have to get onto that path. That path. If the near edge hadn't crumbled away, I could have jumped it easily. Okay, maybe we can access the boat or lay something down. It doesn't look like we actually have anything. Uh, there's a way down there. There's a, some things to look at here. And there's a boat. Can we walk along this thing? We can. Okay. Maybe we can, like, push the boat across. Let's look at all of these things. Because we can examine all of these. What are these things? The wall had flaked, and anything once written on it had long since gone. This place looks weird for a sewer actually the inscription was hard to read but i made out templier oh and something about innocence so there's references to templars down here in the sewers my medieval french isn't much but the few words i understood seemed to say this is where the gallows used to stand maybe Ooh. And we know about the hanged man from Ireland, right? So we can go around here. Let's try pushing this boat, I'm guessing. Can we push it? What's that doing? What's that? The hook lay in a bed of chain. A hook? What do we need a hook for? there's a hook on the end okay we need to find a way to get over here maybe we have to go down there uh, let's just what's this this is is this chained up here music's a bit creepy down here the hook lay in a bed of chain okay so maybe we can hook that onto something let's try going down here oh look at this place <gasps> it's the hanged man is that the hanged man? I think it probably is, right? Ooh, the skull on the door is a bit foreboding, isn't it? I'm not, not sure I like that. <laughs> Never a good idea to see a skull on a door, is it? Um, right. Let's see... This isn't going to get us over to the other side, though, is it? I pushed against the door, but it seemed to be locked. Right, it's locked. Okay. So... It looks like we've got to do something with this skull, right. perhaps? It's locked. Do we have a key? Maybe we can use, like, the tripod on it or something? No. Can we use the gem on it? No. Can we use the sewer key on it? No. <laughs> Why did I just hear a goat? Did anyone else just hear a goat, or am I going crazy? Why does using the sewer key on there make it sound like a goat? Is that a glitch? <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> That's very strange. Um, something there, but we can't click on it. Alright, so there's... Okay. So there's the hanged man. Alright, there's nothing else here. Can we do... The hook lay in a bed of chain. Yeah, what do we do with the hook, though? Can we, like, hook it onto something? App apparently that does nothing. It doesn't even shrug. Um, no. Can we... No, okay. Right, well, let's go... Well, we found something, at least. Maybe this guy's done with the thing now? 
No, he's not. The priest was still busy with the chalice. So I decided to have another look around the church. How, how long are you taking, man? Seriously, what is going Unless we've got to use this thing. Maybe we've got to use this thing off of the statue. You know, the little thing with the cross on it? Maybe we can take that and use it on the skull? On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Okay. Can we take it now? On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. So he's not saying what he was saying before. On the end of the staff was some kind of disc with a cross on it. Because before he was saying about, I don't want to take it unless I know I need it. Mayum Lux Vedabus. Is there a clue on here, maybe? A bit of a stained glass window. Wow. Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. Yeah, probably so. Um... Okay, so that's not helping us out. I didn't recognize the biblical story in it. I was a Sunday school dropout. Okay, so that's not going to help us. Uh, so, that's not helping. We looked at this. A knight there in the company of his fellows. No, okay. So it's obviously not anything to do with up here, is it? It's got to be something to do with down here. This is quite the puzzle. Um, if I wanted to get deeper into these catacombs, I was going to have to get onto that path. Yeah, so we've if got the near edge hadn't crumbled away, I could have jumped it easily. So we've got to figure out how to get down... There's, there's got to be something to do with this, right? With this chain thing. Otherwise, why else would it be there with a hook? The wall had flaked, and anything once written on it had long since gone. The wall seemed in very poor condition. The inscription was undecipherable. The plaster had cracked and was falling away. I wondered why. Oh, can we? The wall had flaked, and anything once written on it had long since gone. Can we maybe use something on there? It was time for some brutal destruction. Yes, all right. Brutal destruction for the hey, win. That's hollow. I would poked a hole in an historical site. If any archaeologists came by, they'd lynch me for this. Yeah, I mean, couldn't that... There was some sort of mechanism hidden inside the wall. Ah. With a lever in the middle of it. Couldn't that potentially be a crime as Here well? Here goes. There's a lever. The secret door had jammed. I couldn't get through that gap. Okay, I wonder if this is... I've been told something by um, Rachel Rogers about something about putting your whole, your hand like in a, a gap in the wall or something in this game and it like being a, a death. So I wonder if this is potentially a moment like that or maybe the skull is. So I'm actually going to save here um, and call this like episode 24... Point five, just in case, because it'd be quite funny to die. I'd pull the lever right over. Um, but I don't want to have to do it all again. Okay, so we'd pulled the lever right over. So what's in there? I'd pull the lever right over. Nothing yet. Can we? No. So we pull. Can we? Oh yes. Okay, we can hook this on. I'm guessing. Yes, okay. Now do we wind it in with the wheel? Oh, he's going to do it automatically, I think. Whoa, what's that? I literally can't see it, it's too dark. Uh, what is this? Ooh, what is this? Boy, had I ever made a mess of that door. Okay, this is getting to some like secret cave vault thing isn't it i think it certainly feels in like it. the beginning oh god was the end an that guy. end wrought by our enemies began our darkness in the end will be a beginning an end to our enemies heralds our new day what the 
The military establishments are in flux. The end of the Cold War has left them with no clear goal and as obvious targets for budgetary cuts. We have successfully promoted a sense of betrayal in the upper echelons. They feel that the politicians have cast them adrift. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Good, mademoiselle. Governments are giving the corporations more respect than their own citizens. A groundswell of dissatisfaction and dissidence is growing. The corporations are becoming too large and complex for their own executives to control them. A blind belief in market forces is accelerating this trend the world over. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. The global population's belief in those that govern it has never been lower. We have inculcated a sense of immediacy and action over forethought and planning in all the major governments. They are acting on hasty decisions that cannot be completed or revoked without appearing foolish. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Excellent. The tired old governments are dying a slow death from their own incompetence and our machinations. Professor... Where is the broken sword? There's actually a broken sword? Ah, as we discussed last time, with the loss of the manuscript, our search is as a corollary ended. We know this guy. And as discussed last time, you have been furnished with a dramatically increased budget. What have you been doing with our money, Professor? We are working on the principle that the Templars... <clears throat> That is to say, our predecessors. Hold on. These are the Templars? Uh -huh. Aha! ...have left a trail when they were hiding the clues to the sort of Baphomet's location. I have a small army of historians and archaeologists ferreting out that trail. I trust these historians and archaeologists are more trustworthy than your friend Pegram. Pegram was loyal. He tried to protect the Lokmarn gem when the Hashashin came near. And failed. And don't call that Syrian maniac the Hashashin. He's an assassin. Plain and simple. That's not what he believes. He actually thinks. Silence! Do I have to remind you that we have a sacred duty? A trust? When Philippe attempted to destroy the Order, we lost the sword and our power with it. Now we have the opportunity to reforge it. But time is short. We need results. Not petty bickering. Not excuses. Now, Professor Baphomet. Yes, of course. My apologies. We will find Baphomet and the sword, manuscript or no. We have already found another element actually within uh Oh, Excellent. What is it? Well, we're not exactly sure at present. Ha! But I have my best people working on it. You would do well not to criticize others, Eklund. At least I have not murdered one of our own. What? Of course. That guy was the bogus doctor in the hospital. Oh, he was. Marque was a liability. Eklund dealt with him on my orders. I beg your pardon, Grandmaster. I did not mean to. Have you any good news for us, Professor? We already know three of the elements. We know that Klausner had obtained the lens before he vanished. Where was he? Syria. We know that he arrived, but after that, nothing. Syria. The assassin. I fear so. It's a shame. Klausner was a good operative. This will be our last meeting in person until we locate the sort of Baphomet. I hope that I don't need to emphasize the importance of finding it. Without it, our endeavors come to nothing. 
With the sword reforged, we will have the power to sweep the stage of all opposition. The next time that we meet, it will be to become the princess of this world. Wow. So it's like a full on New World Order sort of thing going on here. Very interesting. Wow, a lot to digest off the back of this. A gate crashed a meeting of influential leaders from the military, business, government and academia. Recognise the academic he was hanging around the Hotel Ubu. Must have been stalking out Khan. Yes, we did, didn't we? The big boss, a guy they called the Grand Master, mentioned a broken sword. Didn't Mark Hay say something about fixing a sword? The Sword of Baphomet. So... I thought the game was just called Broken Sword. I thought it was just a cool name they thought of, but the game is literally hinging around a broken sword. Uh, they talked about Klausner, who has some lens that's important, but he vanished in Syria. They think the assassin may have got him too. So I wonder if we're going to have to go off to Syria then. The Grandmaster claimed to be a Knight Templar. I really don't trust them at all. They're just a bunch of megalomaniacs planning a new order. Just like I said, it's all coming together. This was a really cool episode. Loads of stuff uncovered. And the story has taken a huge step as well. So it seems like they're trying to take over the world. We're going to have to stop them, right? We're going to have to find this broken sword. Potentially we're going to Syria in the next one. I don't know. Maybe there's more we can explore down here on our own first. I don't know. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nighty, Paul from the Fans and Fellows, Lyle, and Barry Aldridge for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all next time.